Hello and welcome to PrimePay's ACA Compliance Navigator. Today we will focus on the Workforce Tracker Tool. The Affordable Care Act requires that applicable large employers review all offers of coverage to their full-time employees and monitor their variable hour employees to determine eligibility for coverage. Applicable large employers must make a qualifying offer of coverage to their eligible variable hour employees, their full-time employees and dependents, assuring that it is also affordable under the new ACA requirements. Introducing the Workforce Tracker Dashboard and Report Tool, which will provide a dynamic, comprehensive view of key metrics and measurements that will enable you to make real-time decisions based on real-time results. Click on the Reporting tab in the menu. Your company name will appear. Select the configuration type and then select your configuration ID. Once you have uploaded all of the current employee specific data into the Compliance Navigator, viewing the results is easy. Click on the yellow track box to reveal several dashboards providing you with a high level, quick view of several key metrics. Let's look at each. The four snapshot views at the top include which employees are Medicaid eligible, total number of employees enrolled in your benefits, the total full-time employees who waived benefits, and an alert to reflect if any full-time employees not enrolled in coverage may be exchange eligible. The first dashboard is workforce distribution. This dashboard provides you with a complete view of all employees, full-time, part-time, seasonal, and variable hour. By clicking on any specific item, it will reveal the names of the individuals that pertain to that item. For instance, clicking on the full-time employees who are not offered coverage, it reveals the names of those specific employees. By clicking on those variable hour employees that are unlikely to be full-time, reveals names of those specific employees. This dashboard allows for quick, high-level views that provide up-to-date information and will guide you through your decision processes. The next dashboard is Offer of Coverage Status. This dashboard provides a quick view into the percentage of full-time employees that are offered coverage. The employer mandate states that employers are to ensure that they offer coverage to a certain amount of the eligible full-time employee base. In 2016, employers must offer coverage to 95% of their full-time employees. This dashboard will be your guide to ensure that you are on track throughout the year. Dashboard number three is the Workforce Monthly Trend. Four items are displayed for each month for you in the calendar year, and they include the potential Medicaid employees, the number of waived employees, those that are enrolled, and potentially exchange eligible employees. The last dashboard is called the 2016 ALE trend and it provides the monthly full-time equivalent counts for the current calendar year. And it will determine your applicable large employer status for the next year. For those employers who are just above or around that critical 50 number, you will want to watch this closely as this important trend will determine if you will indeed become an applicable large employer in the following year. If you are considered the authoritative transmittal within your commonly controlled group, this ALE trend report can include all employee information from each individual EIN and report the totals for your complete aggregated group. The dashboards are available to provide you with high-level, fast, and accurate information. However, you will probably want to dig deeper into the numbers. By clicking on the Reports tab in the Workforce Tracker, you will be able to download a full report of the results of the inputted data. By downloading the report, you now have access to four components of the data. The ALE Status Report, full-time employee report, part-time report, and employee status report. Simply click on any one of these items on the main tab for viewing. Each tab will provide a summary of information, 
and also provide comprehensive details on how the results were tabulated, generally on a month-by-month -month basis. The first is the ALE status report. The summary will reflect the total number of employees in the census population, the average number of full-time employees, equivalent employees, and then the average number of full-time employees and equivalents. Below, it will provide the monthly breakdown of what each month's calculation is based on. The second tab is the full-time employee report. This tab will list all full-time employees and provide the status of enrollment and coverage, minimum value, Medicaid eligibility, affordability, and whether they are eligible for an exchange tax credit. The third tab is very important, the part-time report. This report contains all of the valid measurement period details for all of your variable hour employees. Each variable hour employee will be measured through their appropriate initial and standard administrative and stability periods. This report will reflect the period start dates, end dates, the average weekly hours during the periods, the total hours worked in the period, hours remaining to become eligible, average hours per week to become eligible, and the likelihood of that variable hour employee to become a full-time employee and require coverage. This report will want to be monitored by each employer on a regular basis. The final report is the employee status report. And this houses all of the data as it pertains to the hours worked for the month, the employee status as to their full-time, part-time, seasonal, and variable hour status, the coverage offered, and any potential penalties that could exist from month to month. Your personal workforce tracker report will ensure that your company remains in compliance with the ACA reporting and employer mandate requirements on an efficient, accurate, and timely basis. It is that simple. You can find out more details on PrimePay's ACA Compliance Navigator solution by visiting www.primepay.com and additional tools, resources, and answers to your various questions can be found within our PrimePay Service Center located at support dot prime pay dot com. Thanks for watching.